Hi everyone, this is Praveen. Welcome to ITS Workshop. So, in this video, we would like to discuss some important concepts in Java, uh, especially when you are working with uh, collections. So, we have got object class. So, there there are some important methods in object class which are like equals method, finalize, has code notify notify all wait and to string so uh, if you are working with collections then these these methods are especially useful in case of mapping in case of searching and sorting with collections so as we all know that collections are very much useful and almost everywhere we are using collections so let us see these methods one by one in each video and then we'll start working with collections. So let us start with to string. A string to a string. So this is one method in object class to a string method and the use of to a string is returns a text representation of the object. So if you want your object to be object to have some representation which we can read we can understand then you must override your to string so let us see what happens if you don't use to string and what difference it creates after using it so i have created one class test class and one main method and I'm going to create object of test now suppose I just want to print this object so it has nothing it's just plain object and I just want to print it so let me save and run it now you can see that we are getting this concepts dot test so concept is my package name and test is class name and then at the rate symbol and then this is hexadecimal representation of your hash code so sometimes people say that this is just some garbage value we are getting or we are getting some memory value uh, that's not correct this is hexadecimal representation of your hash code in next couple of videos we'll see what is hash code how to work with that and now this is the normal way which we are proceeding with uh, if you want your object test is the object if you want to represent your test this is the normal way we get so if we want to have a specific representation for our object we must override two string method so two string is public two string Here you can define what how do you want to represent your object so like I just want to say this is test object you can save it and now if we run this program so now you can see you are getting this result this is a test object so that is the dif difference if you are overriding to string then the logic written in to string the written statement the to string written a string is actually your representation of the object so we have test object and now if we want to use test object anywhere and we want to see 
what is test object then this line will be there this is the test object or whatever line you provide into string method so this is how we use to string and it is for object representation you can say when you want to read something meaningful about the objects of your class then you must override to string method so what it gives it gives object state in other words the current values of the important instance variables so you can you can provide some instance variable information right now our test class doesn't have any instance variable or you can provide those also in a string representation and that will be useful whenever you want to represent your string okay so that is that's it for to string and it is very useful in java project and sometime you may encounter it so let us start using it thanks for watching if you like this video please click on like button please subscribe for more tutorials like this thanks a lot